Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, great and wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. You are welcome to this program. While you are joining, share this video, invite others to join. We are live, we are direct. We are supposed to do this program 13 minutes ago. My apologies for being late. My apologies for being late. You know, it is supposed to kick off 30 minutes ago. But I am late. Sorry for that. And I hope as you are joining us, share the video, allow others to join. We have a whole lot to unpack, depending on where you are and your time zone. Share this video and let me in. If you are watching on YouTube at Judge Money Blog Africa, don't forget to hit the subscription button. Don't forget to, you know, to like the video for the algorithm to do the sharing. If you are watching a Judge Money blog on Facebook, don't forget to share, follow. We know that that page is also dying. So if you are watching, you those watching on Judge Money blog, try to follow also our page Judge Money blog slash TV or Judge Money official on Facebook because I know that Judge Money blog Facebook is dealing with it. So, great and wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom, as we are waiting for our leader to usher him to a place where he is going to breathe a fresh air. I welcome you to this program where we are going to continue to fight and defend his legacy, to fight and protect our struggle, to fight and defend everybody who is doing formidably well to help our struggle thrive. I want you to be part of it. You must be part of this fight because we have come now to actually let the world know. As you, you, can, you may see, or you must have heard, that the man in the autopilot issued a threat to our erudite barrister, barrister Ifanye Jofo, so that is what we are here to address that madness because so many times he claims he does not pay attention and why the first question we are going to start with this evening when we are addressing this issue it is why is it that each time barrister Joffa comes to my platform to address Biafrans what you are going to see is you are going to see a guilty person, guilty conscience coming out, even though if you go through the interview granted by Barrister Joffa, you will understand that Barrister Joffa and I did not mention anybody's name. We did not mention anybody's name. Then, somebody who is so guilty pick an offense with the interview, just like they will always do. They picked an offense and they started attacking and they started actually fighting Barrister Ejofo. Just like you all know, each and every time they engage in their fight, they always come constructively because they don't have the balls to fight like a man. They don't have what it takes to be direct. 
So this evening, I am going to be addressing that ignorance and madness of Eberima in Finland. And I am also going to be addressing Asare Dokobo in his insults to the Igbo nation. I want you to share this video, invite others to join. There is another picture you see, a young man carrying a weapon in this video. There is something I want to use that to actually, I want to use that video there to create an analogy of our problems that our problems is each time oppressors oppress the oppressed. It will not get people's attention. Whenever oppressors op continue to oppress the oppressed, it will not get the world attention. But guess what? Each time the oppressed stand up to fight against the oppressors, the whole world pay attention in order to call that oppressed a terrorist, in order to give that oppressed man a bad name. That is exactly what I want you to understand with this video. Let us go there quickly before we go to what we have this evening, morning, afternoon, depending on where you are watching from. Pay attention to this. Sleep is for the rich gun club. So why, why are you guys out here with guns? Why not? Those guys came on Sunday and they tried to intimidate some innocent uh, women, ladies. Women? Unarmed men. They got one of them right here. They got they're one of them right, them right there. Just post up right there. Just post up right, right there. Right well, they came out here because those guys came out here trying to intimidate those girls. And they thought that they were going to have it easy. But one phone call was made and the whole, and, 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 and everybody came down here armed. No bullshit. And Louisiana is, is, is a uh, total gun state. Yeah, it's an open carry state. So, and that, so that's open carry. Who so that's why we out here. Who came out here this weekend? Who are you talking about? The Confederates. You watch the news, right? What station you with? KTB. KTB. Oh, y'all ain't keeping up with that? No, I'm, I'm I bet. Everybody. I okay. bet. So, well, so, so, anybody, so, any, yeah, so, in, so anybody, so anybody that keeps up with the news, anybody that keeps up with the news, you should know what went on this weekend. You should know. Don't start paying attention whenever we respond to shit and stuff. I, don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't start paying attention whenever we start responding. Hey, big dog, hold on. Don't start paying attention whenever we start responding to stuff. The time to pay attention is not when the oppressed people decide to respond to the oppression. Go ahead, you heard me? Did you hear that? Don't start paying attention when the oppressed people stand up to defend themselves from the oppressed. You start paying attention. The reason why I, I brought this video with me is that if you look around you, what is happening around African continent, what is happening around black lives, you will understand that we can be oppressed, it is okay. We can be killed, it is okay. We can be unjustly, you know, detained, it is okay. We can be unjustly beaten up, it is okay. But each time, we stand up to fight our oppressors. We become the bad people. That is exactly what is going on here in the lives of black people all over the world as well. Just like you see what is going on in Nigeria. Nigeria, when they continue to oppress Biafrans, it is not making, you know, it does not trend. Just like how they committed a war crime against Biafrans prior to 1967 to 1970. It never trended. Nobody knows about it. Only Biafrans 
who bled, who watched, who were traumatized. They know about it and the wounds never healed because they never allowed that wound to heal. They never created an atmosphere that will help that wound to heal. Now, if you look around you, in the lives of our people, Biafran people, I want you to understand that all these names that we are being given by all sorts of people, saying, most especially the Igbo-speaking Biafra areas, the names that they are being given. After the war, after the war in 1970, which the war never sees fire, you know what happened? They invented, you know, they actually removed our history from the Nollywood movies. They removed the educative path of Nollywood movies. Now they started teaching our people, Oko Chicho, how to make it quickly. How to, if you can, if you don't have money, you don't have name. If you don't have money, you don't, you cannot call the short in a society. That is the reason why they introduce money ritual into our society. That is how they actually make everybody to be, you know, everybody started looking for where they did not keep. Young people start looking for how to do money ritual with the mother's head, with the father's head. Because remember what they did during the war. They used hunger and starvation to actually deal with us. They dealt with us with hunger and starvation. That's what they did. Now, while dealing with us with hunger and starvation, you guess what else that happened? After that, you know what happened? It, it is that they start now bringing out initiatives that will, you know, make our people. They introduced initiative that will make our people to know if you can make it, you are not in the society. You do not have a surname. Now you have to do everything you have to do to make it. Now they start now calling people um oji oji mote emogo na mbise um oji okara agbe ni igwe na mba no em mili na ezorora na newi they will start mentioning all those names when they see poor people they throw money on the, on the air for them now you will see the respect you are giving to these people you give them this respect as you are giving them respect, you are wishing to be the one that is receiving this respect, which you are giving to these people, which will now tell you, which will now make you to go the highway. This is as a result of people who died through hunger and starvation. Our people died through hunger and starvation, courtesy of British Nigeria war crime against us. They died through hunger and starvation as if it wasn't enough. You know what happened? As if it was not enough. Then these people, they continued their, you know, teachings, their evil teachings. I am going to those watching and judge money blog. I am going to change. Um, I am going to actually merge it. So if you are watching from judge money blog, I want you now, if you, if you cannot see that video anymore, I want you to actually switch, go down there. You look for it. You will see, you will still see that, uh, you will see the video there because I am changing it so that I want to bring more people into that judge money blog so bear with me so switch on to that same judge money blog be be there just refresh then you will get the new notification i believe the new notification is already there because i want to go on to twitter 
that want to join Twitter right now. So we are also live on Twitter. For those of you who are going to be watching on Twitter, try to retweet the video. Now, after starving us, after killing us with true hunger and starvation, they start showing you things that will make you to look for it. Whichever means it will take you, make it. It doesn't matter if you kill or you mend or you ray, you do. Make it and come and answer Ujimote Moga. These things, they have a you know negative impact in the society. And while they are showing you all these type of movies and teachings, the government is making it your life so difficult that there is no other way you will be able to make it other than committing crime. So while you have been exposed to these things, the government is doing their own job. Remember you came out of war. You never, your, your mind, you, you are not, you never heal. They actually, those who have buildings, flats in Parakot, in different areas in that Nigeria, they were given 30 pounds to begin with. Now, how do you want these people to start? Because they want you to go into criminality. They want you to go into crime. So that whenever you go into crime, they will see the opportunity to be killing you, to be reducing your population. So that they will, that is a systematic way of reducing your numbers without you, you know, you, with you giving them the reason to do so. Because they will never make anything available for you that will enable you to thrive. They will now enrich few people. If you look at those few people, you know that they have enriched. One way or the other, they have enriched them in order to use them to influence the young generation. Then the young generation are influenced by these people without knowing what these people did in order to get their money. All they know is that they call them different names, you know, at the, at the end of the day, they respect them. They respect them. The young generation who say, no, I want to be like this person. I want to be like that person. At the end of the day, they go into crime. Heinous crime. It is a projection. These things that you see happening to our people, it is not something that is natural. That is not our people. That is projection. Population reduction plan. So that each and every, any way you go, you will be looking for it in the highway. You will not relax to take it slowly but surely. That has been the problem. It is the projection of the enemy. The projection of the colonialist. They never ever make it easy for you. And another thing that causes all these things is religion. Religion will come in, just like Mazichina Samoru was saying last night. He says, you have not a company where you are going to work. Then pastor is telling you to sow seed, you will get a job. You don't have any com company. Rather, every, you know, places that you have, Every piece of land you have, it was it has already been converted to auditorium, church, instead of being converted to factories that you are going to get employment after education. You don't have these things. So now what will that entail? Now you are going to actually go into criminality. Or now pastor will be telling you, sow a seed, you will get a job. I see you getting a job. Or I see you building a mansion. You don't have a job, but pastor is seeing you building a mansion. What is that pastor telling you indirectly? Go and do what others are doing. Go through the highway so that you will make this prophecy come to pass. Because the pastor himself knows there is no employment. There is no job opportunities. You have never submitted any of your CVs to any company, but pastor is seeing you building a mansion. These are how 
they have projected you that they will continue to kill you and they are finding a way to actually exonerate themselves. We are better than that. I'm going to touch on that more. I'm going to touch on that more. We are the most oppressed in that zoo country called Nigeria. And that is the reason why we must change that narrative by getting our independent nation of Biafra. Then we join the African unity. We will make difference. Because without Biafra, this is exactly what your unborn children are going to go through. You know, every reasonable human being is supposed to advise Nollywood to stop showing movie of where they do money ritual, where they akuna uh, takasilo, uh, uh, They're supposed to actually be banned in our Biafra land to avoid our children going through the highway because they want to answer akuna takasi, akuna No, this is what they are making these children to do. It is not because these children want to do this, but this is weird how they grew up. They seeing these things. And there is an adage that says, when you tell a poor man how you become rich, he will say, I rather remain poor. I rather remain poor. You know, you know why? Because they have projected that each and every means that you will use to be rich will be somehow highway shortcut that is it you cannot see a barrel pusher without a vision a barrel pusher without a vision and you expect that you will tell me that this barrel pusher they are working too hard they are very hard working they are barrel pusher they don't have a vision you claim they are working hard they are working hard but they are not working smart there, and the pastor will be telling this barrel pusher, tomorrow you will be rich. I see you being rich. Knowing that this barrel pusher does not have any intelligence of having to save money, small money, venture into something else that will connect him to somebody. But he will continue to push barrel. He will tell you that I will meet my destiny helper pushing barrel. There is no such thing. You need to actually plant a seed for a seed to germinate. Without that, there is nothing. All these things that they have not allowed our people's brain to heal from the traumatic event of this genocide it come, you know, from 1967 till this day, they did not allow us to heal. Rather, they brought, they continue to bring the education that will destroy our minds. They did not take us through a rehabilitation process. Having seen the war crime committed against our people, and our people are not helping the matter at all. That is the reason why you see people rising up against one another. You see brother killing brother. You see a son killing a parent. It is not our lives it is not whom we are it is whom the devil the enemy you know projected for us to be that is the reason why there is an adage that says don't allow yourself to be like the plans of your enemy and we have allowed ourselves to be like the plans of our enemy that is the reason why you see all these people committing all sorts of heinous crime in Biafra land. Those are the people who are supposed to be captured, who are supposed to be placed through a rehabilitation process because what they see every day, you know, each and every day what they see around them, it is not something that is educating them on how to, you know, stay away from crime, but you are still going to make it. It is something that, you know, push to them the narrative that you can only make it with, with sin. 
that they will tell you, I never would have made it without a sin. I never would have made it without a sin. All these words, they have a great, you know, they have a negative impact on our people. They're not glorifying sin. They're not glorifying crime. You never would have made it without a sin. That is the reason why it is very, very important that we get Biafra. Because we are going to correct these things in Biafra land. I hope God keep us alive when we get Biafra. Because I will also be involved in making sure that this narrative is changed in Biafra land. Our people are better than what they are projected to be today. Our people are better than what you see. What the whole world is calling them today, including Asare Dokobo. We are coming back to this. It is not our doing. It is not whom we are. This is the, 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 you know, the effect of that war. Hunger and starvation. So you must make it to actually cater for your family, to make sure that you have you take your family away from poverty. Because when you see poverty, when you experience poverty, when you see your mom selling his, her wrapper just to pay your school fees while you are growing up, I believe that you being you, having seen all that, and you have not had a good education that will now guide you to how to make it how to actually achieve your dreams without committing any murder, any crime. You have not been guarded through that path. The only thing that they continue to show you is the highway. Because the people that made it, they will come and be bragging. They will be come and be throwing money off on the air for you. You'll be fighting yourselves you want to be like him when he cannot create an avenue to actually educate you people that is throwing money for how to make it if he indeed made it in a good way. Because none of them that are throwing money on air for you made it in a good way. Because if they made it in a good way, they cannot throw money on the air for you. They will not abuse money. There is something you see Abusing money is throwing money on the air for people. It is abusing money. You will look deep. You will find that these people that are doing that are part of your problems. Because the money that is supposed to use for service delivery in your area was given to them. They will use it to come and brag. That is politically contrived. They continue to make you lazy. You can never make it with thinking deep and implementing your thoughts. You can only make it because that person is a Yahoo boy. You can only make it like him when you become a Yahoo boy. You cannot make it because that person did a money ritual. You can only make it if you become a money ritualist. These are the, you know, these are the things, the knowledges that will be hovering around you that will be hovering around you if you do not have a moral upbringing, you will lose God and you will go into those mess. I am going to leave it here. I am calling on Attorney General. Attorney General Malami to stay off IPOB case. And we are calling the, on Nigeria because Buhari said that the case of Mazen Nam the Kano is in court. And if there is anything that he does not interfere with, it is the judiciary. And he interfered with the judiciary from lower court, which is the high court of Abuja. He interfered with the judiciary there after interference of the, with the judiciary because they know that there is something they are holding against whom the judge that was presiding over Mazen Namdekano's case, which is Justice Bintanyako. 
you know, against the husband. So that is the reason why they were able, because those cases, if you look at the, the, way, the direction, those case, this case of Mazen Namdekan went in the Federal High Court, Abuja, you will see that the judge saw that there is no case here. But because there is, you know, there is something, you know, the executive will do if I pass the judgment against me. I rather refer it to a higher court. That is the reason why she had to refer it to court of appeal. Now appeal court discharge their independent, you know, competency. Now the executive is now trying to interfere interfere now you see somebody who is called attorney general malami who is supposed to be competent attorney general malami he is out there instead of allowing the role of law to uphold instead of promoting the role of justice which is what he is placed there to do he is defeating the ends of justice. He is actually against the rule of law. He want to actually, you know, that is the reason why he need to recuse himself when it comes to IPOB Biafra agitation or Biafra case. He must recuse himself because number one, he has a criminal tendency. Attorney General of Federation of your Nigeria has a criminal tendency. I am going to tell you those criminal tendency that I have discovered with him. Number one, Attorney General practice nepotism. He practice favoritism. That is the reason why he chose to get his relative to be the chief of EFCC. I want you to bring that guy of EFCC, bring him close, bring those big two pictures. Then you will understand what we are talking about. Because if you check them, you will see, you know, you will understand the similarity. Let me actually show you. I believe I have it here. This is them. You will understand. And according to the, you know, investigation, they happen to be from the same area. And it was him who single-handedly appointed this guy to be in charge of EFCC. This is one of the criminal tendency he has because in a nation such as, a nation of more than 200 million people, Nation where there is 200 million people, where they continue to tell you your diversity is your strength. Yet, somebody is out there practicing nepotism. They are all over. Attorney, you know, you know, the, the, the positions of, um, is, it, um, is, it, is it Chief George? That the position they have uh, selected a few few months, few days ago, a few weeks ago, it is only four people from the West. Only four. The rest is from the North. What type of, you know, what practices is that? Now, Attorney General, instead of him being an attorney, because I believe he read law before he obtained the position of being a senior advocate before he will get now transition into being attorney general i don't know if he went through that process or whatever or he was actually chosen through this favoritism practices because for you to be in that position i believe you will acquire some certain level of experience in law before you will acquire that position as Attorney General of the Federation. Now, that is by the way. Now, I want to ask him. He knows the law. And he's supposed to 
make the law, the rule of law to uphold, he went to Kenya. He went and kidnapped, violating, you know, international law, which Nigeria is signatory to, violating human rights, violating international law, which he's supposed to, as a competent attorney general, you have spotted your, you know, your terrorist, according to how you label it. And you are sure you have every evidence to nail your terrorist. Instead of you as attorney general to go through a tradition process or protocol that your terrorist will be tried in the country where he dwells and found guilty because you will present the facts and figure which will convince the competent court of Kenya that this is a terrorist and there is no reason they will have in order not to release this terrorist to you. You did not go through that process. What does that entail? It entails that the man you are calling a terrorist is innocent man that you are a terrorist trying to actually grab this innocent man who knows that you are a terrorist. You went through extradition, uh, extraordinary rendition. You kidnapped him. Now the, the competent judiciary discharged and acquitted him because you could not present or your advocate or your um, prosecutor could not present you know the reason or how you people brought this man back into Nigeria when he is still technically still in Kenya you could not bring this evidence how you brought him is it through extradition process or is it through extraordinary rendition? Number one, violation of human rights. You went there, you kidnapped him, you tortured him for eight days, kept him in an you know unidentified location, not a government facility. You kept him there. You almost killed him. The same person you extraordinary rendition was the same person 2017. You sent military. To go and they do Operation Python Dance. They killed 28 able bodied men in an attempt to kill this man, this same man. Attempted murder charges is supposed to be leveled against you. And that Nigeria attempted murder and, you know, genocide supposed to be leveled against you. And defeating the ends of justice supposed to be leveled against you. These are the charges that are supposed to be against you. But because when you have a position in Nigeria, you are above the law. And you can as well go out there and do whatever you want. Because you are above the law. You actually insulted the sovereignty of Kenya by sending criminals to go and kidnap somebody and you label them a terrorist. You're supposed to actually, if, if, if Africa is a, a country that knows the law, because they don't, they do what they're pleased with. You're supposed to be behind bars instead of coming out, instead of hiding your face in shame, you come to say, Mazen Namdekan is not discharged and acquitted. Mazen, don't, are you listening to yourself, to your ignorance? You are supposed to be the, you know, the, 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 the person who teach people the law. But now, when it comes to law, we are incompetent, but we know common law we know human rights violation when we see it. We know violation of international treaty when we see it. 
and we understand these common laws and you have violated all of them and yet you have you are still audacious to come and interfere with a competent judiciary that is the reason why i keep on saying nigeria justice system is not working it is not because it does not want to work or people who are there does not want to work because the executive will continue to interfere that is the reason why the judge of the high court of the higher court which is appeal court of, court of appeal in abuja say that we need to mitigate the excesses of executive excesses of, of you know from the executive because the executive is now pushing is actually controlling the narrative of the judiciary which is improper fraction which is something that is very very improper in a nation and that is the reason why nigeria will not work let me tell you example of nigeria will not work you see mazen namdekano today you see him if you make him Nigeria president, Nigeria will still not work. For me, you know, the reason why I am putting it this way is for you to understand that, that Nigeria will not work, we are saying, it is not because of a candidate or somebody who is supposed to be there. It is not at all because of anybody. We hold nothing against anybody. But Nigeria will never work. It will never work. If you put me there, Nigeria will never work. Because anybody that you put there that's supposed to work, that person will go down. They will sabotage him until he goes down. That is what is going on. It is not about individual. It is about the system. The system cannot allow you to thrive. Because the system must service Britain. The system must service British people, British economy, United States economy. The system must service these people first. And they are the first choice, not you. You are the last choice. It is the system that is there. So I don't know why these people who call themselves elite, I believe that elites are people with full of knowledge and experience. They are not able to understand that the system that they are eliting upon is not working. And there is no way you will be able to do anything that this system will allow you to thrive. The system welcomes you when you start enriching yourself because they know that you enriching yourself as an individual, it will not truncate their, you know, their manipulation towards your economy or your, you know, exploitation, economic exploitation that is done against you. It is one man and their group of cabals. You can enrich yourself, it is okay, but you can never enrich the economy of the country. You can never enrich, enrich the poor masses. That is the system. And these people who are called the elite, they don't understand it because they know if, we, if, if it doesn't work, we can enrich ourselves. That is what is keeping them going there. That is what pushes them to go there. It is actually nothing else. Because if there is anything else that is pushing these people to go there and, you know, to go there and uh, start fighting to be a president where they know that it will never work. You know, it is only the fame there, the immunity there, the protection there, and the embezzlement they are, they are with. It is. No matter how much you pray about that system, it will never work. I am not cursing the system, but I am telling you the realities of lives. You cannot change it. I will leave it here. 
we will continue to give these people time to release our leader. Let me play this thing again so that they will understand and the whole world will understand what we are talking about. Pay attention so that when you will start paying attention when the oppressed will rise up against the oppressors. It shouldn't come by as a surprise to you. Oh, Y'all ain't keeping up with that? No, I'm, I'm I bet, I okay. bet. So, like so, so, any, so, any, yeah, so, any, so anybody, so anybody that keeps up with the news, anybody that keeps up with the news, you should know what went on this weekend. You should know. Don't start paying attention whenever we respond to shit stuff. All right? Don't, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't start paying attention whenever we start responding. Hey, big dog, hold on. Don't start paying attention whenever we start responding to stuff. The time to pay attention is not when the oppressed people decide to respond to the oppression. You heard me? The time to be caring about race relations is when it's going down. Don't wait. Why are we still having to come out here and fight over a monument that, that, that? Now, I am going to leave it here because you have gotten the message. Don't start paying attention when the people who are oppressed i am so happy that you know that the whole world have seen the ignorant of nigeria that they do not even obey the rule of law but they want to come out there at only general malami a nepotism practice you know and you know a nepotism you know he, he is actually he actually practiced nepotism placing his family members in power now if such a person could go out there to kidnap Mazen Namdekan, violating the sovereignty of or the rule of law internationally now is the same person who run out there to actually proscribe IPOB, who has committed no crime, who was only protesting with a flag, with a flag. He called them terrorists. At least, you know, this move that he made showed you that it is indeed true that Nigeria will never, ever, ever work. Nigeria will never ever work as long as there are people like him. So I am going to take a bow in that regard. Let us go to the business of the day. And that business of the day is this infiltrator. The infiltrator in Finland who dwells there continue to lie to our people continue to give our people false hope. This is the infiltrator. There is something he said in this video that I want you to understand. First of all, the reason why he said what he said in this video, after the interview I had with Barista Ifani Jofo, The reason why he said what he said in this video, it is because he is guilty conscience. He is, his guilty conscience is actually troubling him because he has done everything to continue to lie and deceive our people. He did everything to truncate the activities of IPOB and the legacy of Mazen Namdekano. He did all that. At the end of the day, it didn't work. Then he has no other choice than to actually start threatening people because every of his activities became failure then he has no other choice he started threatening people now he extended this threat to barrister joffo uh, 
because there is i want to show you the reason why he extended this threat it is because of this pay attention let me drop it this one and show you because we need to actually bring in a preamble so that you will understand because if you remove a thick or ecto, ecto parasite from a dog you try to show it to the dog so that the dog will not believe that you have pinched it now pay attention let us show you the reason why he is thwarting he is so you know restless listen to it put it so quickly and comment now can government must tell us how someone initiate initiate on their behalf until on their behalf the identity the identities let us so we are we are more than that yes. and you don't need to explain uh, so i thought i just said i will uh, so uh, I, 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 I can assure you in, 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 in summary i can, I can assure you that justice will be done to them i will get justice for them i can assure you in summary that is that is very important that is very important to girlfriends because i i understand when you say when you are taking legal action you don't want to disclose your you know your formation and tactics because we also have infiltrators so we are we are more under in this regard yeah, yeah. so and yeah. uh um barista and the last question will be we also have infiltrators amaranda did we call anything simon in this regard did you hear any name called simon here of course the answer is no we did not mention simon's name here but why is it that this what we said here gave simon a sleepless night because simon is well aware that he is the criminal who is trying to destroy every work and activities that we are doing now there is some things okay let me play this video more so that you will listen to the you know the finishing of this video what listen. will you tell those resolute Biafrans who has been you know supporting the leadership leadership structure and working according to the you know in line with the instruction of Mazen Namdekan what do you tell them in this, this day? day I am eternally grateful to them I will say this without any fear or provocation. I I recognize that today in my in my press briefing this morning, not because of anything, but they may not know what they've done to me. I know the kind of blackmail, tribulations, and emotional onslaught I passed through okay. in the hands of those who are supposed to be supporting me, in the hands of those. Who's supposed to be appreciating me mm -hmm. in the house of those who's supposed to be praying for us, but instead they were they were ferociously working against against us by exception working against the leaders of their of Mazen, the Mazen Manika. They know themselves, and they, I am eternally grateful to 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 media warriors for their work. I wouldn't have done it alone. We wouldn't have done it alone because. I understand, you understand what emotional stress is all about. And when you're writing legal works, and someone is somewhere, someone is somewhere every day calling your names. Someone is somewhere, someone is somewhere every day uh, uh, doing all the possible within you wish to ensure that you got married. Every day calling your name for providing false information to the public about you, accusing you falsely, falsely of what you never did. You know what I mean? If you are if media owner are not here, I can't be able to have to cook. I can't cook. But they, they were there taking the, the, the bullet for me. I commended them, including you. Ike Gurago is exceptional. That is exceptional. You are so exceptional. So I commended them. More especially leadership. I can't, I can't thank them enough. lot. And also, the admonition from one of the last that I have con continued down every day. I complain to him. He says, Your fault. I don't want us to discuss this matter again. Hey, your fault. Me, don't do all you can. Let me come out. It's my fight, not your fight. I just let me have to tell someone I did. 
He has claimed that they don't know. He has every portion of all their processes they are here. How they are calling my name, how they are how they, how they are blackmailing me, those that think they don't care, no, he has everything they are here. But we ask him to remain quiet. quiet. He asked him to remain silent and in the course of the first of time, who are blessed. And to remain focused. And, they, and, even, and, and I listen to him. I listen to him because I know that if I give attention to those characters, those characters, those idiots, those idiots who work nothing, who have lost the time the past in the scheme of things, if I give attention to them, I will be there. And I will not give attention to them. At some point, they started attacking the Zokomi. They started this, 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 this buffoon started attacking the Zokomi. Look at them. They started taking the most elite supermarket of Nigeria. Who are they attacking? Of course, effort they made to, to, to prosecute this man, they did everything they wanted to prosecute him. But the man soon fell and said no. I won't, I won't go into it, but they will, they will hear it in the course of time. What do they want to come out? They will attack him. Who are they attacking? Him? Who are they attacking? 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 Who is the country? Who are this man? This man. This man. Let me go into it. The part that attacked the, 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 the media world. I thank you much, I thank them. I am so proud of them. I am so proud of them. I am so proud of leadership. And because if you give me, you, you gave me the little support to achieve this thing. If not for you, I will not get there. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, we saw that coming. That is the reason why we actually, you know, pull up our socks. Because Mazen Namdekan actually told us this before he left. He said that it is time for us to put our brain in gear to endure and persevere what the enemy is going to throw at us. That is the word I heard. I said, now, this is my fight. I must join. So I can imagine how they wanted to frustrate you guys, how they wanted to bring your spirit down to discourage you. So at the end of the day, they failed. And they will continue to fail. And we believe that very soon our leader will be joining us and all these criminals will be flushed out. That is when we will give them IPOB treatment. Because we were actually trying to mitigate all these you know, attacks and the discouragement. We were trying to mitigate it. We have not given them IPOB treatment yet, which is to come in weeks Okay, let us leave it here. Let us leave this one here. Now, let me now bring to you, I hope in this thing, if you, if you doubt it also, you can go back to the video. It is on Judge Money blog, official. It is on Judge Money blog slash TV. You will listen to it at your convenient time to understand that we could, did not mention anybody's name. Then why did somebody all of a sudden took it personal? Because their guilty conscience is troubling them. They're guilty of something. That is the reason why they took it upon themselves. Now, I am actually going to analyze more of that video I played now for you. When we're done listening to this epidemic in Finland, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention to him so that you will understand exactly what we are talking about. Now, let me do it this way. Pay attention. The first, first message, message is, is to the full and new terrorist government. government. The second message is to our brother, government. Tumpolo. The third, third message, message is, is not, not actually a message. message. But, but it is, is a comment. comment. Oh. oh. That I'm going to make. To our erudite lawyer, <laughs> the lead counsel in the name of Barrister Ifani Ejiofo. Four. 
And uh, fortunately, Barista Ejiofo didn't know that he is my namesake. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> and this is going to be a new topic today. <laughs> Barista Ejiofo is my namesake. My name is also Ifani Chuku. Are you aware? <laughs> You're not aware. Wow. I know some people will say, what kind of human being is this? You are given that name, you are given this name, you are given that name. Yes, yeah, so my name is also Ifani Chuku. I am going to fast track the job. Is going to go to Enugu, our people in Enugu state. Who are now doing their most like? Who are now? And everybody have done something very well. But I want to tell those who are now doing their muscle like this, those who have come to do muscle like this for Simon Ekman, <laughs> is you say, those who are positioning themselves to attack Simon Ekman, is say, I do not start something and I don't finish it. I want to send a very strong message to everybody. From Barista Ifan Yejo Four, okay. who is a very good, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to say friend, <laughs> because I call friend those who call me their friend, I call them my friend. So why are you trying to force it? The Biafra struggle is a struggle that is very dirty. What? I came to the Biafra struggle with all my heart. Mm. And if you come to stand on my way, I will fight you dirty. <laughs> I will fight you. He said everything I have, and I have not even. He said Biafra struggle is a struggle that is very dirty. Do you know the reason why he is telling you that Biafra struggle is a struggle that is very dirty? Because he is dirty himself. Hello. Even use any power. The power that God gave me, I use it against the zoo. So I want to tell Barista Ejo for today. That those who call me their friends, I call them my friends. I want to tell Barista Joe for today that Simon Epa is not looking anybody's face. The only person I respect in this struggle is Mazin Amdekano. I gave him my word that I will never disappoint him. Before you pick a fight against me, God bless you. Did you hear that? 
Now you will supposed to be asking yourself, why? How did this person know that he is the one distracting the Lego team? That they are were not able to do their job. Because the reason why I actually played that video was for you to make sure and find out that no one mentioned his name. So it means that he knows exactly what he is doing. He knows that exactly what he is doing. That he is here to distract. He is here to discourage. He is here to destroy. He is here to kill. And he is here to steal. That is exactly what he's here to do. That's why he invaded into people's conversation that his name was not mentioned. But because his conscience, you know, in everything you do in life, your conscience, you see, your conscience will always judge you. Conscience will never lie. Conscience will never lie. It is the most, you know, your conscience is the most, you know, holiest thing in your life. Holiest. It will never lie. It will never lie. So that conscience now told him, of course, you are the one that they are talking about. You are the one. But when he is done, <laughs> we will talk more about it. I will clear it up so that you will understand exactly where we were going. But listen first to confession time. Before you pick a fight against me, Gajuese, I am not here to attack you because it is a distraction. Hmm. But I have just come to give you a word. <laughs> Barrister your four. Every time I am not here to attack you, I am not here to attack you. I am not here to attack you. Every time, each and every time. Remember, it was his word last year it was his words have you forgotten after i interviewed barista joffo it was still his word okay let us continue before, before you come, come out, out to, to face simon ekpa god you say everything, everything i've done, done since the abduction, abduction of mazin and the Kano is pure and, and genuine. genuine wow after today, if everything you did in the abduction of Mazen Namdekano is pure and genuine, why then do you feel you were the person we were referring to because your name was not mentioned? Unlike now, I am mentioning your name. In that, in that area, your name was not mentioned. But now I am mentioning your name, Simon Eba. As a criminal, you are because you are telling us that if you want to fight Simon Epagad, so I want you to bring what you got, bring it on. Other than him, you know, what you do is actually manipulating and lying and stealing from our people, starting their money in the name that you are creating criminals. That's exactly what you do. But I will be your last bus stop. I will be your end and your last bus stop. Let us continue. I will not make comment again about you. <laughs> but but know it that you can't fight me <laughs> and win. If you fight me, you fight truth. If you fight me, you fight or for noble. If you fight me, you fight everything that follows me. So you can't win because I know the thing that follows me. Asena, criminality. I want to tell Barista Ijo for today while he was surprised of the release of Mazin and I already sent him, communicated with him 
that Mazen Nandu Kano will be released. Okay. Are you not surprised about such a person? Now, let me show, tell you something here. Let me tell you something and show you something here. This, you see this guy? He's a criminal. A real criminal. Now, you and Bariste Joe, for you, you people are not in a talking term, right? You now invade their inboxes, sending a message. Our leader will first in yourself. You know, I told you this guy is somebody who likes to go to uninvited parties. Uninvited parties, he will uh, force himself into it. That is the reason why you find him in different uh, um, program where you see only white people because he like uninvited parties. He will force himself because in a democratic country, as long as you know that, he, as long as you you know there is somebody that he, you know will recognize you there, you just go into that place. It is a party. It is just a party. So that is exactly the way he go and send messages to people. Number one, you are not Barista Jofo's enemy. That is number one, because he's a lawyer. He is not IPOB struggle. But in IPOB case, in Biafra case, in the case of Mazen Namdekan, you are the enemy <laughs> there. So when he will not entertain you in that regard, he might entertain you if there is anybody that you want to now hire him to go and represent. He is a lawyer for all. He is not a lawyer for one. That is the most important thing that he, you know we need to fix here. So now, if eventually you invented his inbox and start telling him, but it's the job for Mazenam, the canon will be released today. Will be released um, today. You claim you told him. Now, let me tell you, dear friends. You know, this guy claim he, he always claim that he does not pay attention. When each time I drop a statement or each time I make a statement in the media, he always claimed he does not pay attention. But now, let me show you a Twitter, a Twitter that I tweeted, which actually will now show you that he has a hint from that tweet. He found his hint from that tweet. When I say to them in the coming months, let me find that Twitter and I will read it out for you. That is where he got his, his crazy, I told you, because that's what he does. If he has somebody who is on unfriendly friend around your, your group and that person is furnishing him with information of your group, he will tell you, God, yes. <laughs> Just like we have unmasked him in several occasions. Let me show you that Twitter. Um, just one moment. Let's see. I am in Twitter right now, so let me screen. Let me drop this one. I want to bring it to your screen, actually. I am bringing it to your screen because if I want to get you to go in here, it tells me everywhere. I set trap for him, he will jump in. Each time I set trap for him, he jumps in. And I want you to hear the date where he will tell you about the day he sent the message. Now, just hold on. Let me find. Okay, got it. 
Got it. This is the Twitter. This is the tweet. I want you to pay attention to this tweet. I want you to read it with me. I am going to enlarge it. Let me actually enlarge it to a full screen. And I want you to see the date. When you see my cursor moving, this is the date of this tweet. Are you seeing the cursor moving? If you are checking the cursor moving, here, here is the date of the tweet. 11.56 p.m. 11.56 p.m. in the morning. That was the, the, the time I tweeted this. 11.56 p.m. in the morning. We are having a caller. And... Uh, A caller on the line. Are you calling for the program? I, I will. Okay, just hold on for me. Let me just finish this analysis. Let me just hold on. I will put you on speaker now. All right, all right, all right. That will be wonderful. So, this is the date. You see? Are you seeing the date? The date of when I did this tweet. I don't know if you are seeing the date. 11th, it is on the 11, you know, on the 11.56 p.m. Or what is, is it a.m.? 11 is still a.m. You know, now it says, September 27, 2022. If you go to my Twitter page, you will find it. Twitter for Android. Here. If you go to my Twitter page, let me read what I said there. Let me read it out for you. 27th of September. Just write that date down. 27th of September. I said, if not the infiltration on IPOB, so many people would have gone hungry in Europe. Autopilot's criminal syndicate finally found a career in fighting IPOB. They are enjoying MNK ordeal, wishing that he does not come out. Criminality is putting food on their table. Fundraising. Now the Twitter has a trade. It has a trade. The Twitter, it has a trade. So let me open the trade. In the trade is where you are going to actually get the information that I want to show you. Then this is the trade. Fundraising gives them luxury, luxuries. But payback time is fast approaching in the coming month. Payback time is fast approaching in the coming month, which is the month of October, <laughs> which is the month of October. In the coming month, Expect the breaking news. Don't forget, I am George Money. <laughs> uh, did you hear it? Pay, but payback time is fast approaching in the coming month. Expect the breaking news. Don't forget, I am George Money. That is exactly where he now stole. Because he is very good in stealing my information. And I always use these things to set a trap for him. He always is he, always jumping into the trap, you know. Now, let us go and listen to what he has to say. If you know it, you go to my. If you doubt it, you go to the Twitter page. Media pages don't lie. You see, media, it doesn't lie. Now, let me now bring it to you. Back, what he was here talking about that he sent a message to Barrister Joffo. That Mazen Namde Khan will be released. Look at look at Oko. Listen to it. Listen to it very well. Listen. Let's cut up this criminal. Barrister Ejiofor, on the twenty eighth of September, 
Mm-hmm. On the 28th. 2022. <laughs> Did you hear that? On the 28th of September 2022 was when he sent. But this my Twitter was 27th of September 2022. <laughs> Are you now getting the point? I tweeted on 27th of September that they should watch the coming month this coming month on the 28th he read it he run and send a message so that uh, so that he you know this is how this guy manipulates people each time i set a trap for him he always jump in that's why i tell this guy is always speaking before thinking he speaks before thinking now let's pay attention what happens on the 28th of september is that a coincidence on the 27th i gave them actually i lured them into it 28th he actually acted upon it listen listen attentively on your mom what i go on so now yala listen i sent you a communication mm -hmm. telling you that mazin nam the can would release in that communication i told you something i will save it <laughs> Sometimes people that you feel <laughs> are smart. <laughs> oh. when you follow them. He sent here a, him a message because he knows about the breaking news I talk about. He knows this is judge money. He knows judge money does not lie. He knows that when Judge Money speaks, there is a truth inside it. He knows that there are many things I have spoken here that shocked him. Because it is, his, it is him. You out there, you will not understand. When I exposed him with his you know, request from Andy Oba, he was shocked. You, you don't know about it. <laughs> that is why whenever I come online, he will be waiting. Even if, you know, you don't understand. You don't understand what is going on. This guy knows. He understands that this guy is a no-go area. It does not matter how many people that are watching. Because that is the reason why. That is the reason why he believes he cannot actually challenge this guy because you know if he challenge me directly that's why he will tell you the one that have money in their name he knows if he challenge this guy directly those his gullible will come here i will educate them and i will i will bring them to the you know knowledge of enlightenment that is exactly what he, the reason why he is running away because those gullibles are very very dear to him they are very, very dear to him. You don't understand. Let us continue. Certain things. At the end of the day, they will mess up. Barista Ejofo, I want you to go to the message, the communication we had on the 28th of September. <laughs> That's all. Are you sure it is a communication or you sent a message to somebody? You know, there is a difference between sending a message to somebody and communicating with somebody. You know, which that one, I don't know about it. I can assure you, I don't know about it. I don't discuss uh, such things with, uh, you know, like me and Barry Stage of we hardly talk. We hardly talk. That's why each time he comes to my program, it is like a short notice because I will just, if I communicate, you know, we just, the same day, after that, the communication cut off. We don't talk. We, we, you know, we, I, we can, I, I can phone him, he will answer, but we don't talk to each other. We only talk when, you know, I invite him to our program. So in that regard of his message, I don't know. But I can assure you that somebody can send you a message. Whether you reply to it or not, he will call it communication. Do you know the difference between you send somebody a message and you had a communication 
you know you know when he call it communication it will sound as if both of them were you know chatting you know or call each other on the phone there is something that you send somebody a message whether it delivers or it does not deliver all you see is you have sent the message you screen grab it you keep it screen grab it you keep it you will say you send a message <laughs> what was the response he did not tell you because if that was a response he was going to tell you that you said to me you said to me okay you said to me we will we, we hope on god you said to me that but there is no response he he didn't you know say anything about it so let's continue maybe he will say it later i don't know let's continue I don't want to say much. Go, go to, to the communication, communication we had on the 28th of September. <laughs> and I hope you are going to, you will address this mess <laughs> at the end. Because really, sometimes I keep quiet does not mean that. Wow. My eyes is on the ball. You know why he said go to communication we had on the 28th of September? It is for his gullible to believe that he is talking to Barista Jofo because he has seen, the gullible have seen, Barista Jofo is, uh, is actually a mouthpiece of Mazen Namdekan. Now Barista Jofo has gone to IPOB platforms, but non-autopilot. So he wants to use this to actually confuse the narrative that he is in a secret conversation with Barista Joffo. <laughs> you, are you paying attention? He wants to, you know, somehow indict Barista Joffo in his shenanigan. <laughs> you, are you paying? That is exactly what he wants to do. But he does not know. We are intelligent. We are intelligent. So let us continue. Barista Ijo first said that Mazen Namdi Kanu release was a surprise to him. While I already communicated wow. to him on the 28th of September, wow. I told him to do soon be released. Wow. And I gave him a message. I did not share nobody. Wow. So message I, I don't know about if you heard. I did not hear or see where he said Mazen Namdi Kanu's release was a surprise to him because let me be honest with you let me be honest with you <laughs> there is no surprise about it i have not seen barista joffo i am not here to defend him all but i am here to state a fact there is no way it will be a surprise to him when he is the mazen nam the kano legal representative you see this criminal here he want to act as if that Barista Jofo knows that there is something about the case that he is scared of. That is the narrative this criminal here want to push here. This constructive criminal, he want to act as if releasing Mazen Namdekanu is supposed to be surprising by the to you know to the lawyers. When the lawyers, I can assure you. The lawyers are actually very, very, you know, optimistic that Mazen Namdekano was supposed to be released in the Federal High Court of Abuja. Barista Jofo expected Mazen Namdekano to be released in Federal High Court of Abuja before that, the, the date before I gave you exposition that I got intel from Asorok that this cabals they are trying to use Mazen Namdekano as a political joker because they believe he is going to support P2B. They believe that if you release him in support P2B, he will give every other person Florex victory. That is exactly, I did it in my platform. It is still there in the YouTube and Judge Money blog. It is still there. That exposition I did before that court date. That was when now they denied the bell. Even Barista Jofo was actually surprised. Because they know they have seen, having seen the experience of San, senior advocate, Michael Zokome, 
He's been there for more than 40 years. He knows a case that holds water. He knows a case that does not. Now, they are quite optimistic. They know, or will I say they knew, and they believed that the Mazen Nam the Kanu will be released from high court because they know that there is no case. But now, before then, I have already got the intel that Mazen Nam the Kanu will not be released because of the political joker that they are playing with the case. And they also wanted to secure, you know, their primaries. Now, because they want to bring another member of Kabal into your Nigeria leadership position, which it does not matter to me. It is nothing to me because we are into Biafra struggle. We are not politicians. That is exactly what I told you, that there is, you know, there is, they are actually believing that we are going to go into politics because they want to confuse us with evil presidents. And we told them we are not politicians. P2B or no P2B, the struggle we even, you know, enter into a different dimension because we don't care about anybody who wants to go out there to enrich themselves. We don't care about them. We care about our struggle. That he is telling you now. Simon is telling you that Barista Joffo said he is surprised that Mazen Nam the Kano is released, is, is, is released or discharged. I want you, the reason why we are touching on these things is because I want you people to continue to understand how this guy is lying to you. The way he manipulates you, the way he goes about you know, selling a narrative that does not exist. Because he knows that Barista Jofo will not come to actually respond to him or to argue with him or to challenge him because he is not worth the time. He is just a non-entity. That's exactly what is going on here. That's why he is actually trying to lie, telling you there was a communication. Will there be a communication? The reason why he took his phone and sent a message, which he does not tell you whether the message is delivered or whether the message is opened or whether the message is responded to. He took a, the phone and sent a message because he saw the Twitter I tweeted because he know that I am highly informed. That is the reason why he to send that he claim he sent. He could see. I'm not doubting whether he sent that message. I know he could because he like uninvited parties. <laughs> he love it. He love uninvited uninvited party. Ebaku as long as never name me for Simon there. That is whom he is. Now, he claimed that the barrister of us, he sent, he had a communication, he should go there. Why are you telling him to go there? If you had a conversation, communication, communication means that you wrote me, I wrote you. Communication is not when you send somebody a message. He never even delivered. The person did not see the message. It is not a communication. If you sent a message, Communication is when I receive your message, I respond to it. That is communication. We converse. So when he is actually speaking this type of English, it is what is called a figurative word. A figurative, it is not basically a figurative word, but he is placing you in a state of imagination. That's what he does. He places you in a state of imagination, which people like us, we cannot. Because people like us are actually there to catch criminals like him. Pay attention. Let's continue. Maybe I'm lying against him. Let's hear from him. I didn't share it with anybody. And I did not communicate with anybody. But Ebumi Ike, Ebumi Ike, it is not mouth. I am not a native doctor. Ike Ibute from my Twitter page. <laughs> Ike Ibute on a Twitter page. 
Oh, yeah, we keep. We keep there from my Twitter page. You think you are very, you know, clever. You, you know, he is, he might be clever, a bit clever, but he's not intelligent. He is not intelligent. So pay attention. Also, no BK. <laughs> Let's find out the type of ego. But I can watch her. And one day, Mazen Namdikano will come out. Not one day. Mazen and we Namdikano, are going to, at the course, end of the day, the truth is going to come out. out. I am not going to say more than this. Wow. But I want whoever that is communicating with Barista Joe for. Mm -hmm. Tell him to go and go through the communication I had with him on the 28th of September. I made it. Wow. This is where all this things is settled. Whoever that communicates with Barista Jofo, tell him. Because you do not communicate with him, but you say you had a communication. You had a communication. Whoever that communicates with Barista Joffo, tell him to go to the conversation or to the communication I had with him, which means it is actually the case of what I just analyzed. That sending somebody a message which they did not even pay attention to or have seen it or delivered to them or maybe delivered, they did not even open it. That is the reason why he is forcing. The reason why he pulled this stretch to this, or this he strict to this, you know, to this, you know, area. It is because he wants to place you in a state of imagination. That's why he said to you that Barista Jofo is surprised that Mazen Namdekan is released, number one. That is the reason why he's pu pulling the strings. Because he knows Barista Jofo will not come out to, to challenge him. He's not worth it. Now, he now said, I want you, those who are communicating with him, because he knows he is not. But he told you, he communicated with him. You see the reason why I told you, he talks before he think. He does not think before you know, talking or speaking. He talks, then think about it. He's already out. So those who are communicating with him should please tell him to go back to the communication because you stole a hint I dropped on my Twitter page on 27th of September, 2022. Because you trust you trust the you know information of judgment. You trust it. You run and you say to Barista Jofo, Mazen Namdekano will be released, which you don't even tell us whether he read the message, whether he received it, whether the message went through, but all you say he went, you sent it, you communicated with him. Now you are telling us to tell him. Why don't you from that means where you communicated with him? Communicate with him once more. Tell him to go back to that message which you and him discussed. <laughs> is, it, is it making sense to you? Is it becoming clearer to you? That is just how it is. Let's move on. It's very clear. It is not from anywhere. It is not an intel. Mm -hmm. It is not an intel. But I can see. It is not an intel. The intel came 27th of September from my Twitter page. 28th, he delivered. <laughs> He's telling you it is not an intel. This guy can lie. Nigga, you can lie. <laughs> you think you are intelligent, nigga? Wow. Wow. You are learning. That, that is a conspiracy. Experience going on. Hmm. Which conspiracy? Wow. Nobody called me for this struggle. You called yourself. 
where Mazen Namdekano was captured. Nobody called him for this struggle. He called himself. You see? And he is behaving like people who called himself. Because in when in this in the leadership position in Africa, we practice leadership by man to ship. When the man to fall on your family shoulder, you become a leader, kingship, leadership. But when it was bastardized after the colonialism or after colonization, rather. The leadership by man to ship is now bastardized. And that is actually when the Europeans learn about monarchy. Monarchy. Because they understand that in Africa we are strong when they practice monarchy. Because there is one person who will be held accountable. So they stole that initiative. They implemented in the and doors on theirs and they found the cause up, also chieftaincy, this and that. They implemented it to us, bastardizing our true leadership. You know, it, how do I, you know, explain it? Our leadership ways is that of mantle. When your father is a king, when he dies, the son, the first son becomes the king. The type of leadership we practice, they took it out, they now brought us democracy, knowing that when they are economically exploiting us, democracy will never work because to have a sustainable democracy, you must be fully in charge of your economy, both in financial market, both in the world stage. You must be in charge. Not people who will give you a dollar to buy oil. They will regulate that dollar. It will be meaningless to your, to your own you know, economy. So it is not, <laughs> you know, that is exactly what I am trying to say. No need of extending it or actually stretching the conversation. Democracy is quite expensive. If you cannot control your economy, you cannot ha you know, have a, a sustainable democracy. That is the way it is. So let us proceed. So that is the reason why. It is only God, Chukwo Kikabeama, calls the leaders to come. When you are called by Chukwo Kikabeama, then you answer. So, nobody called him. He called himself. That's why he came in and become criminal. That is the reason why in all these practices, you see African leaders failing. No one called him them. God did not call them. They called themselves. And they are failing. Let's continue. Kidnap from Kenya. I said, I will be the last person that will disappoint him. Till today, I will never disappoint him. Until he come out. Wow. Wow. Until he come out. Let me tell you people the reason why he continued to sell these lies to you. Because some of you stupid sympathizers. That's what I will call you. Some of you stupid sympathizers. We are in a struggle. We are not here to make anybody happy. Okay? We are not here to make you be to sympathize with us. We are in a struggle. We are not in democratic movement or politics. Some of you who are stupid sympathizers of this idiot, I want you to understand that the reason why he continued to tell you, I told him I will not disappoint him. We will see until he come out. It's for you to believe that this guy did many things to protect Mazen Namdekan or for his release. That's exactly what he is planting in your empty brain right now. For you to think he did anything. He enriched himself through sabotaging ESN. He enriched himself through trying to, 
you know, redirect money meant for our security into his own purse, using it to buy himself a Mercedes Benz in Finland. Brand new one. That's actually how he enriched himself in so many ways. Why is it that, you know, when we stop talking about this new car he use your money to buy, he will start driving on it. When we talk about it, the car will hibernate. He will no longer drive on it. He will start driving in that car, that one that kills somebody. In car, blue mode, edgy, shagu, where barufia, edgy, um, leopard, a distant barufia. Oh, motor blue mode, na, edgy, yeah, barufia, so that the reason why they, they made the roof like that, because probably the airbag pops, the airbag, the roof airbag popped, and the, those things were destroyed, the roof map was destroyed so the you have to put a, a material there so he chose that material because you know of course you will understand it now let us continue because so many things i say here so many of you will not understand it except if you know I will repeat it again for the very last time. Mm. I want to barrister a your phone to open his phone. To open his phone. And go to the message. Wow. I communicated with him on the 28th of September. To open his phone. So which means he never responded to you. He never even saw, he didn't, he didn't see the message. You want him to open his phone, which means he never saw the message. You sent a message to a thin air, and you say you communicated with him. You had a communication with him. Oh, good now for how he manipulates you guys. And if he did not correct this mess, <laughs> if by stage of four, did not correct the mess mm -hmm. he wanted to put himself into. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Biafra's struggle is a dirty game. A it, dirty fight. Wow. Very, very dirty. Wow. We are fighting freedom. I did not come here to build cabals. Oh. I did not come here to be anybody's friend. Wow. I did not come here for anything else mm -hmm. other than to support Mazin and the camera. Mm hmm to make sure that his legacy will not be destroyed. To make sure that all the people that died for their first struggle will never die in vain. Okay. And I have not even started. We were warming up, and here we are. I will say it again for the very last time. <laughs> it really made me. It really to go to our communication on the 28th of September. To go to. Hmm. Eh, peri me, Oye, is bo nyuri. Apa bo nyuri. Jamazin Namdikan will be released. Who told you? And that there is something else I communicated with him. Which is what? And today, I have seen that that particular other thing I communicated with him has become a conspiracy. Wow. That particular other thing. But I have not started. That particular other thing. Don't worry. Unuga funke tolu biati. Okay. Oba mama. Hmm. Unuga unu 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 unuga gije mu unuga chai je unu nevi debe. Wow. Unu nevi debe. The time Samantha has not started. Mm. I am going to scale all of you. Wow. Anybody that wants to stop Biafra from coming in 2023. Wow. We will scan all of you. All of you will be scanned. Wow. Oh, yeah, Kugo. Did you hear that? <laughs> wow, Banshi. Did you hear that? If what is making this this you know this coward that is staying in two by two room in Finland. 
It is the only thing that is giving him morale is because of these few criminals you are doing crowdfunding and giving him money and he is giving them telling them who to go and uh, kill and who not to go and kill that is what is making him giving him you know making him to come to social media and say he will do this he will do that when he you know with asare dokubo remember this is what asade was asare dokubo threatens in Debo. This is a boy. A cat boy. The same way Asare Dokubo threatens in Debo. Asare Dokubo told you, I am killing you. I will kill you. I will kill you. With all the speed. Asom Milius everywhere and Ezo Kamili. Then, this one I've learned, how to now, you know, threaten you too. How to threaten you too? <laughs> it is not for people like us. Simon Gadjoes. Atom K Gadjoes. Oboroba is not a matter of talking mouth. Gadjoes. Gadjoanyana or George Money. Go and ask who is George Money. Gadjo the real essay. It's not about uh, you come to the media, you will be intimidating people, and uh, because people who, who are very, very gullible. When you are talking, this is your gibberish. It will look like it makes sense. It does not make sense. The fight for the liberation of Biafra have taken many lives. Millions of Biafra have died. People are still being killed. So if you think you can come to do politics, play politics with Biafra struggle, I will end it. Mumage end there. I will end your political movement in Biafra struggle. It can never work. So you can begin to position whatever you are positioning and position it, you are going to work in vain. Take my word today, you are going to work in vain. But that is not why I'm here. I have given you a message. This video must go viral and let everybody save this video for our leader Mazinamdikano when it comes out. Because it's gonna come out. And the Biafra people are giving the Nigeria terrorist government from now to Sunday to release Mazen Namdekano as the court demanded. If they fail to do so, Biafra people will react. The consequences will be felt. And this has nothing to do with Mazen Namdekano because he represents Biafra. So, Biafra has given this particular Fulani terrorist who kidnap, commit international crime. From now till the 16th of this month. Thereafter, Biafra people will begin to react to the injustice being meted against Mazinamdikan. From the 16th of this month, from Sunday, if after Sunday, Mazinamdikan is not in Afaraupu, They will hear from their friends. Now I want you to understand. <laughs> wow. I want to tell you. You see this guy? You see what he is talking. You see this, you see this guy. 
This guy here. Is it here? There. You see all these things he is talking. It is gibberish. It is gibberish. Does not have any meaning. The reason why this guy is always proactive to come and make mouth is for you to believe he's the one doing something. He is doing... This guy is somebody who tell you he is working to release Mazen Namdekan without having a legal team. This guy is the one who told you Barista Jofo is compromised. He went to meet Asare Dokubo. He went to meet this person. He went to meet Tompolo. It's without knowing that he claimed that these people are compromised since last year. He could not bring his own lawyer, even though he's told you that he has redirected IPOB funds. That, you know, when they, their money is finished, they should come and kneel down for autopilot to, to give them money. Which means that they have extra, they have redirected Biafra money to their pocket. Now, he could not get a legal team for Mazen Namdekan. And yet he is telling you, but he's telling you that he's giving them time because he always want to reap from where he did not sow. That's exactly what he does. And all his irats will come and tell you, this is how what Simon is doing is helping him as an American indirectly. You will understand that they are not truthful. They are not sincere. They are Nigeria. They are from Nigeria. They are not sincere because anything coming out of the zoo is not sincere. Now, the reason why he's telling you he give them before by Sunday, because of course you know, Mazen Nam the Kano case ended. Was it? We ended, you know late friday right it was a late friday which means if there is any document submission and they do send that according to i am just giving you with common sense common sense is what i am giving you any documentation 102 102 monday is a resumption of everything so that if he eventually Mazen Nam the cannot come out tomorrow, <laughs> he will say because he gave them automaton. <laughs> Hi, Simon Eba. It is for those whom are very, very naive and gullible that you will continue to fool not people like us. You are still a baby. Let's continue. Let's finalize his uh, madness here. This time around, it will be completely different. Believe, Believe me. You call for lockdown. No one responded. And, and anybody who is thinking that Biafra is going to allow election, election to, to hold in Biafra land, hmm. you, are you are joking. joking. Mm -hmm. You are joking. <laughs> we won't go to that bridge, we are going to cross it. Wow. Do you know what it is? Do you know the meaning of this? Some of you who are intelligent out there, do you know the meaning of this? He called Mazen Nam the Kanu his leader, right? His leader. And he claimed that he's doing everything for to release his leader as, as a disciple. Do you know what he is telling you? When we get to that bridge, we cross it. Remember, there is a caller who called him and said, when well, Mazen Nam the Kano come out, they will not listen to him. Now, if Mazen Nam the Kano come out, I believe that Mazen Nam the Kano is our leader. He's the one who will tell us, will there be election or not? So, that means he is telling you in advance we will not listen to Mazen Nam the Khan. Are you paying attention? Are you getting it? That is what he is saying in advance. When we get to that bridge, we will cross it. What if Mazen Nam the Khan will come out and say there will be nobody will be boycotting any election? We are not going to interfere with their election. 
What if he says so? He said, Eberima will tell you and nobody will stop it. It's possible that Mazen Namdekano will say, we're boycotting. You never know. But is Eberima in that position to tell you, nobody will stop it when he claimed he is a disciple? Hmm? Is he in that position to tell you such things? Of course, the answer is no. So why is he trying his luck? Why is he telling you such things? Because he knows exactly what he is up to. This guy is here to actually destroy the struggle. He is here to actually fight Mazen Namdekano. But the reason why he has not started fighting Mazen Namdekano now, he wants to build a background. But for that, you will say that this guy fought for Mazen Namdekano all this while. And Mazen Namdekano come and turn his back against him. And you will say that Mazen Namdekano is ungrateful. That is exactly the narrative. That is exactly the, the school that this guy is taking you to right now. Believe you me. That's exactly the school he is taking you guys to. That is exactly. But, of course, just like you said, when we get to that bridge of your stupidity, we will cross it. Because our leader will join us. Our leader will pilot this struggle. If you mess up with our leader, you will receive IPOB treatment. If our leader it comes out and when he give order, just like you said here, let me say it here, just like you said here, when our leader gives order, you can't say we will reorder the order to Kwabogoku now. To Kwabogoku, you will now see that there are people who are target, who are around you in that Helsinki where you are. You know, because this is a struggle. We are not here to, to, to actually come and, uh, you know, look at, you know, um, a fule fool like you. We are not here to start allowing a fule fool like you to, to actually destroy what we are doing. Touch him. <laughs> when our leader come out. Challenge our leader for a minute when he comes out. Kamalo Zemochi goes on. But if you feel that they conduct their own election <laughs> and let people vote and give them vote of confidence and let us see how votes. On this note, thank you very much. From today going forward, the people in Biafra land must I not take the, any order from the DOS. The APC any order they give, for example, if they come to say, okay, we are declaring it at home Can you for imagine? Biafra people because Mazina Mikan has not been released. Of course, we know that sit at home is something that everybody likes. So what we do is that we will come and, re, you know, we reorder that order. Hi. He will reorder the order. This is your leader, Sendo Umu Umu Juju Brain. He will reorder the order. So that is exactly the where he is heading now. Because this guy's aims and objective is to build a background, to use it, to use emotions, your emotions and your sympathies. You know, those sympathizers, you know, he want to use those sympathizers, criminals like him, you know, one Nigerianist, to come and tell you that the reason why Mazen Namdekano, Mazen Namdekano turned against me after I have called him disciple, after I have fought for him, after I made an enemy for him, after, but Mazen Namdekano did not tell you to do anything. I mean, while everything he told you to do, you are doing otherwise. So the reason why you, he is doing, he, he has not started fighting Mazen Namdekan. Even having heard from Baris Dejo, for having heard from anybody who has gone to see Mazen Namdekan, he fought the wife because the wife is out. He fought the wife because the reason why he turned against and insulted the wife of Mazen Namdekan, it is because... He knows Mazen Namdekano's wife came and, uh, you know, give you the solution to your problem. He has to fight he, her.
because he never knew that Mazen Namdekanu is coming out soon. He never believed, except my Twitter that I tweeted on 27. Now he sent the barista job for message on 28 because I tweeted that Twitter for him and he read that Twitter with his fake account. Now, at the end of the day, what happens? He's waiting for Mazen Namdekanu to come out so that Mazen Namdekanu turn back on him. He will now say Biafrans will judge. Just like he always tell you, Biafrans will judge. Because you are a foolish sympathizers. You will use your brain. But of course, I try, I try. But if he, if he dares challenge Mazen Namdekanu and continue to claim autopilot, we will reorder the order. If he try to reorder the order, <laughs> that is when he will get an order that will reorder his, you know, his activities. That's how it is. That's how it is. Every instruction, just like the Irat that is calling himself critical hungry boy. <laughs> Who is telling saying that Mazen Nam the Kano has been collecting, has been collecting money, calculating that uh, if there are uh, people are raising, you know, one thousand naira, calculating IPOB money, which he never donated cent, but he's calculating IPOB money. He never donated cent, <laughs> but he's there doing calculation of IPOB money. That this is, and he is telling you that the Benima is getting small. This is the same boy, idiot in Italy, who has been trying to raise funds for BNL, telling you that the BNL, Biafra National League in Bakasi Peninsula, they are they are struggling. It is not only one group that will get Biafra. He tried to raise funds for them, it didn't work. Then he now introduced them to Simon Eva when he, the activities of Simon against the ESN failed. He introduced them to Simon Epa. Today, Tompolo is recruiting those boys, BNL, because I go to change your final. Tompolo is recruiting them. That's what is going on. So, let us actually here if there is any other thing he said there yeah. but i believe we are done in that regard here well let's hear it to see if there is more thing that need to be addressed because we must not leave any stone unturned we don't want to leave any stone unturned let me see so pay attention Talk to my brother, Tempolo. Tempolo is a man that I respect. And I know Tempolo is all about business. You know, he's all about business, all about what he... He is talking to his brother, Tempolo. Because Tempolo, sideline, he's, he's, a, he's a partner in crime, Asari Dokubo. Now he wants to talk to his brother, Tempolo. This, <laughs> in fact, let's hear him talk to his brother, Tom Polo. How, what he want, you know, percentage, he want to get from Nigeria and all that. So, I am going to address the video of Tom Polo. Very brief. We need to tell Tom Polo that You know, <laughs> here we go.
everybody, but the little we can provide. So let's pull out the yes, uh, yeah, let's work together. And if the security people are sincere, few of them are sincere. They are very, very ready to work with us, but many of them are involved. Tompolo is begging is begging security people in Nigeria. Tompolo. Tompolo is begging soldiers, begging the government agents, the government actors that gave him contract. Tompolo is begging the Nigeria Fulani terrorist government that is, that is incarcerating Mazinam Dekano that refused to release Mazin Amdekan, he is begging them, saying, you are the criminals too. The security agent who is guiding Mazin Amdekan, putting him in DSS dungeon, they are all criminals. Tompolo is saying they are the ones that are committing the crime. And so, majority of them are the ones committing the crime. Tompolo is now informing them that the people who is going to engage and fight, fight are the Nigeria, Nigeria government, government agent, agent, the army the and the police. police. And yet, and yet Tompo wants want to be part of Nigeria. Nigeria. In Nigeria, we are Okay, I believe that uh, Mazuchina Samoru did justice to this. Employed. I believe that Mazuchina Samoru did justice to this. Um, Tompolo issue. So we don't let us um, move into another thing. We had a caller. We had someone who called initially. So let me bring him in because uh, I believe he has a lot in the bag to talk to us about. So let me bring him in. Before we go to, yes, are you ready to talk? Okay, okay. Um, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Your friends are listening. Okay. Uh, well done. Well done. I thank you again. Uh, you are doing a good job, and um, I have always made it clear that. It is very, very unfortunate for our people not to think out of the box. Because what this guy has always done is use what I told him that he was using a reverse psychology on our people at all times. He's using reverse psychology to target our vulnerable brother. You see, he says that this is not about Martin Landicard, it's about the other. Then why do you want to bring in Martin Landicard into the whole of oh, again? I mean, I still don't understand how unintelligible, uninformed, and I don't know, I don't want to use a, a harsh word, that this guy is, and people are listening to him. <laughs> He has never made, he has never made sense one bit. He's not making sense, he has never made sense. At all. But all, it's, it's all about, it's all about business for him, it's all about business. But it's unfortunate that he is doing this business with the blood of our people. How long can we open our eyes? Well, let me, let me make this thing clear for our people to understand. Listen. This guy has only 60 something or 50,000 people subscribed to his, uh, his YouTube or yeah, whatever. And those are, those are nothing. But even though a lot of people are listening to him, and he has you. Um, please stop, please hold on. There is a call that is distracting the 
So go ahead now. Go ahead. And I sent him a message. 
blessed him. And later he called me. And I said, Lord, 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 Doing it, you know me. You know, you know my my status will not allow me to come on play on on platform to start doing what because I know I can do it, but I cannot come out to do it because of my status. But once in a while I can come out and push out my my uh, my thoughts for our people to begin to understand where we are, the time we are in, the time we are in now is that the bad bank is always gone. Because what Nigerian government is doing is already Abu Kanye is in Hanoi now, so the ones who are happy are back with us. And this guy is going to cash out. As ever you see, we are in so much of innocent people that they are going to kill him because of his statement. Yes. Okay. Oh, he mana eh? He felt that. This is a game, and he is having fun. Yes. So I want to tell people that this is how we are going to do it. Man, I'm glad that it's not because we are going to do it. Only you get to feel that nothing will save him in this world because I saw the lot of blood. Also, the good lot of blood, and it is not acceptable. It's unacceptable. I want people to stop listening to this guy. Don't give him the time or the whatever whatever thing he needs to expose himself. Don't. But once he comes out, we will always shut him down because, like he always said, he doesn't think before he talks. But they tell you that before you do anything on it, come look at your face. Or if you make a normal mistake, or cover your face. Hey man, I told you after when you lie, you want to cover it with another lie. That is what he's doing. So congratulations for what you are doing. And Mundine, all all our people all over the world. Ndibo, Mune, Ibo Amaka, Kaichkoto, Mwanyo. This is the time for a solidarity for Mazi. You know, he is already out. I know this is the game boy that has been playing for many years. We are on holiday. We are not 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 on holiday. You know. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you very much. That is how it is. So, good dear friends, that is exactly how it is. Exactly how it is. So, this thing I want to do now. You see this program I want to do now? I am going to bring more people into this program. Because we must address address this guy called Asari Dokubo because Asari Dokubo is insulting and undermining Ndebo or oh, otherwise I can do the program tomorrow let me see how long we have into this program Let's we'll see how long we have had into this program. To we'll see if if it is doable. Two hours. We have actually been here. We have been here. But anyway. We have been here. I think we are going to bring this program to an end. We will talk about this tomorrow. It is a different energy. We will talk about it tomorrow. It is going to be a different energy. But that discussion of this is very important. Because uh, this guy, this guy is insulting indeed. This guy is actually... Yes, 
you know, what he does, we will be asking ourselves, it is as a result of these evil politicians selling themselves out. That is the reason why none of them will stand up to challenge him. No one will stand up to challenge him because they know they are compromised already. They are compromised already. Because the way he talks to Ndebo, yet he calls himself he has Igbo blood, that his name is Uzodema. His name is Uzodema. He said a whole lot in this video, actually. But we are going to address it tomorrow evening or afternoon. Whichever time we have, we will address this one. Let us go through with this to address. And let me actually finalize what I was saying about this gang leader of the infiltrator. This guy. I want you to know that this guy you see here, what he was doing. Now I want to analyze to you something I said I will tell you. When Barista Joffa and I were discussing this, I want to now expose to you the guilty conscience that I talked about. Because, of course, if you know, if you, re if you are following what is going on, you will also understand. You see, when Barristan Jofo said what he said here, you should understand that it is not only about this Simon Eba. It is not only about him. Let me show you, I am going to tell you the people that are involved in actually trying to make Bariste Jofo to actually bring his um, spirit down to discourage him. I'm going to tell you those who were trying their luck on that. It is not only Simon. There is a lot of them because of that. All of them, they work in cohort with Simon. They work together with Simon. All of them. And for you to know that Simon is the, the real deal on all these people, all the things that Barista Joffa lamented about, that is the reason why he picked it up. He ran out here to come and address it, to come and say by the stage of or do this, by the stage of or do that. That's exactly the reason why. That is exactly the reason why he is telling you what he told you. He did what he said because he knows exactly that it is not about only him. Now listen to here who are those we were talking about here. Let me play it here again so that you will know whom we are talking about. Listen to this. I cannot make them, including you. He can't do that. It's a Listen to this. You are so exceptional. So I cannot get them. More especially with that chicken does them. I can't. I can't thank them enough. My also the other mission from one of the last one. Not that I confused down every day. I complain to the says that I don't want us to discuss this matter again. Let's do all the things we need to talk about. It's my time. It's my time. I don't tell you that he has us on our side. He has clearly the power. He has every control. All the forces they are doing. How they are telling my name. How they are. How they are. How they are blackmailing me. Those that think they don't care. He has everything they are doing. But the ask you to remain quiet. He asked you to remain silent in the course of the first of time you are just and to remain focused. And the other analysis of him 
I listen to him because I know that if I give attention to those characters, those characters, those idiots who want nothing, who have lost total relevance in the scheme of things, if I give attention to them, I will be there. And I will not give attention to them. I saw why the people are talking is okay. The this 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 buffoon is not attacking is okay. Look at them. Now I want you to know when. Barrister Jofo is telling you about people who we are actually trying to discourage him so that he will not get Mazen Nam the Khan released. If you talk about them, number one person is Kanon Takano because Kanon Takano was the one who was directly attacking Barrister Jofo. Number two, if you understand, it was Kanon Takano who actually brought Simon Epa. Who gave him the ladder to climb? These are the people. You know, it is not things that we are going to talk about. But when he started saying this, I reasoned with myself. I already knew what where he was going. When I started saying it, I reasoned. Because I am very, 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 very fast in reasoning. When he was saying this, I pictured Karun Takam. I pictured Simon Eber. I pictured so many of all these infiltrators. There are many of them. Even some of them that are in WhatsApp groups. Message flags in WhatsApp groups. I pictured all of them attacking the lawyers. They are autopilot. They could not bring another lawyer to replace the lawyer they are attacking. Then, Karun Takano on the other side, doing everything attacking a job for. What is the reason? Does it mean he does not want his brother to come out? The answer is for him to give it to us. Because as it is right now, these people, these people, what they are doing, it is something that is, you know, you cannot just understand it. Because myself, I fought for Kanon Takano. I fought for him. Fought for him for complete nine months, ten months, almost a year. I devoted my time fighting for him without knowing and bringing people into this program more. Without knowing that this guy I was actually fighting and defending, he is not, you know, worth it. There is something dodgy about him. That was how I actually asked myself a question. Why is it that I am fighting to protect this guy's interest? He is actually fighting to destroy his own interest. And I said, no. I, I, I actually started following up with him. He started creating cabals. In different ways, when Barrister Jofo talks about it, he is talking about Master Prophet, the one who is wearing blanket on the head. But the reason why all these people did not pick it up, because, <laughs> you know, they we are fighting this fight secretly and because they have seen that all their fights and the same person they've been fighting his work is paying off and it is time for them to hide their evil faces but the one who does not have shame the one who does not have, who is not actually you know who does not have anything called shame in his dictionary is the person who run out to come and start 
saying he is he is warning barrister Jofo. He must go and join us. Because he knows how guilty he is. He's telling barrister Jofo go and join us. He's telling you that he communicated with barrister Jofo. What? What? Hey, what a lie. So, Master Prophet, Canon Takano, they tried everything to distract Barista Joffo, Simon Eba, which they are working with and acting as if they are not working with him. Because Canon Takano brought Simon to use Simon as a puppy, as a puppy. He thought he would use Simon to replace his brother. So that when he replaces his brother, he will now use Simon to do, you know, mouthpiece after he will take over. But he know he did little did he know that Simon himself, little did he know that Simon himself has his own agenda. He has his own agenda. When he found out or when he discovered that Simon have his, has his own agenda, then they started fighting. Immediately, because Simon already knows the thoughts of Canon Takan. That's why Simon ran out immediately to remind Canon Takan, you sold your brother. That is exactly to shut him up, to make him not to actually go anywhere. He reminded him, you sold your brother. We know we are in this together, but you, you are the family member. You are shame, go shame people. You are shame, go shame people. Unlike him, Simon Eber, who is an outsider, who does not have shame himself. That's exactly what happened. But immediately, Barrister Joffo came and complained that people who were making him, that if you want to write a case or study a case, he will not even concentrate because of the attack, blackmail, manipulations. He could not concentrate because what they were doing for him not to concentrate so that they will actually give up at some point on Mazen Namdekan. So that Kanon Takan maybe will bring Bruce Fane to say you will have jurisdiction in Nigeria. You see you, you must have jurisdiction in Nigeria. So that, um, you know, they will manipulate everything. That was exactly what was happening. We know all this. But I want to assure you that all these criminals that are here to distract the struggle, they are time of destruction is coming to an end because you know why Mazen Namdekano is one feet or one foot away from home that's exactly I don't mind the rubbish that uh, Malami is talking he's talking rubbish don't mind that rubbish he's talking. He shows he's ignorant. He shows that he is incompetent in the position that he are occupy. You know? And that is the reason why the enemy, they are, they are panicking. They are seriously, you know, they are seriously panicking. Because they know exactly <laughs> what is about to happen. It is no longer going to be business as usual. Rather, it is going to be business unusual. For all of them, business unusual. For all of them. In everything we are doing right now. You see, Dave Omai, and all these people who are using 
all these people we believe that we were, you know, we were defending, like Canon Takan, Simon Eva, Rochas or Kolocha and them, using these people, undermining the struggle, undermining what we are doing. It is time we are going to put all of them in their places. We are going to put all of them in their places. Because we have seen what happened. They isolated Mazen Namdekan from the people he works with. They actually led him into where he is today. And they betrayed him. Because the reason why they isolated him, because they know that they are going to betray him. And they betrayed him. Like I told you that, I believe you heard it from Mazichina Samoru yesterday. I've told you that before. I told you that last week, actually. That they actually isolated him. That even the phone number that the DOS will call to get hold of him. He was not with it. They isolated him. So this the thing about it is you don't understand. It is not even about who sold him because they didn't sell him. They actually lured him and they betrayed him. Because so many of them who were luring him that's why you see them, because if they, they didn't even collect the money, that's why they are all looking for every means possible to see where they will steal from IPOB. They lord him. We know of many things that transpired. But well, the most important thing is that they betrayed him because they know everything about him. They betrayed him so that they will destroy the struggle and change the narrative of the struggle. When even if he managed to escape, because when they were far earlier, they thought, no, this is the end of the, you know, this is the end of the road for him. Because they believe that they know what they were doing. Without them knowing that Mazen Nam the Kanu is a master in this game of chess. Faraleane came back. Instead of doing what they're supposed to do, they wanted to destroy the struggle. Without knowing that what God has ordained, you can never ever change it. No one. No human being will change it. You can only try. Your destiny can delay. It can delay. But it will never be changed. It is only your choice that will make your destiny be changed. Your choice, your decisions can change your destiny. But if you make a good choice, that is the choice Mazen Nam the Khan made. He knows even if they were, you know, advising him, don't talk to DOS, don't communicate with the DOS, don't talk to them. They consist of many people. If you talk to them, this mission will fail. Don't talk to them. He knows exactly what he left behind. He knows that these people they have what it takes to put their brain in gear, to endure and persevere, to fight every enemy, both external and within. He knows. That's actually what gave him confidence to embark on this journey. And that is exactly the reason why you are seeing the faith Everything is turning around for our own good. 
this struggle is ordained by Chukwoki Kabe Amelohim who lives in heaven. It is not of human making. It is of, the, of that God who lead this struggle. Otherwise, Nigeria agents wanted to kill him. They were in that thing to kill him, but they have seen it is in another man's soil. They have seen there is a, you know, it happened where there is a camera. He blew their cover. He, you know, they wanted to end him and act as if terrorists got hold of him in Kenya. But Kokeke Jesalami, Ole Butia. That is the reason why guilty conscience called Attorney General out. Guilty conscience. Mazen Nam De Kanu is not discharged and acquitted. Mazen Nam De Kanu is just discharged. Why did he just discharged? Why was he just discharged? <clears throat> I thought you called him a terrorist. In your court, he defeated you. He promised you that he will come to your court. He will defeat you. He defeated you in your court. Then you want to now bring up another thing. Another propaganda. Because you people that are working for the zoo, <clears throat> all of you, you forget so easily. That's why I always tell Simon, you talk, you talk before you think. All of you working for the zoo, you forget so easily. He told you he is coming back and he will face you in your court. He will defeat you in your court. Because you people act before you think. That's how it is. And it is not a man's making. It is out of your control. It is the spirit that leads us that makes you to act before thinking, that makes someone to talk before thinking. That's exactly how it is. IPOB, we have defeated Nigeria in their own court. The conspiracy they want to create right now, it is going to destroy them. You see the conspiracy? It is going to ruin Nigeria in the global stage because we have already told the global, the international community, Nigeria is acting like a banana republic, a lawless country, where there is three arms of government, three arms of government. There is judiciary, there is legislature, there is executive. In judiciary, <clears throat> you find justice system, judiciary, legislatures, you find Senate House. Senate people are the ones who are supposed to be moving motion for motion, motion of no confidence to remove a president or have, force him to impeach, to be, you know, to resign. Right? Instead of doing that, they are protesting. Buhari must go. Buhari must go. Is that not a joke? Executive now, who is untouchable, which is Buhari himself, Jubril. The executive, which is untouchable, is now actually interfering in the Senate, interfering with the, interfering with the judiciary, interfering with the legislature. The same executive who said he is not going to interfere with judiciary. That is the only thing that is out of his reach and power. That let Mazen Nam the Khan face the law in the judiciary. That he, he does not interfere with the judiciary. This same executive now. Mazen Nam the Khan went through their judiciary, defeated them flawlessly 
in their judiciary. They're now changing the case. That it is the, the fact that Mazen Namde Khan defeated them because they have committed an act of terrorism by going to Kenya to kidnap, to have abduct somebody. Not through, you know, they did not uh, abduct him. They did not bring him back through extradition protocols, which is recognized by the international law and treaties. They, could, they did not do that. They extraordinarily rendition him. Now, which shows that Nigeria is a lawless country. The Nigeria you see is a terrorist country. Nigeria is been releasing terrorists. They just released few terrorists from Ikoyi prison, if I'm not mistaken. Am I correct? They released few terrorists. How many of them? Many of the terrorists in Ikoyi prison, they released them. Attorney General Malami did not say anything. He did not say that we are not releasing this terrorist because this terrorist is this and that. But they just released him. They released them. He didn't say that we are not uh, discharging and acquainting this terrorist. But when it comes to somebody who asks for the freedom of his nation, Attorney General remembered he is not discharged and acquitted. We can just rearrest him. That is the reason why this toad that is in front of your screen, he gave him the temerity to talk rubbish. You no, know, he gives him the temerity to talk rubbish. I don't know why this video of your president's interview is not playing. But let me see if I will do screen grab. Let me open it where he said he does not interfere. If there is any section he does not interfere with, it is the judiciary. Let me know. Oh, it is not this one. Let me find that place where he said it. Because we keep record of everything. We will continue to remind him. Because I know we will continue to remind them of their words. So that, because what the world will do these days is they will not pay attention when the oppressed is crying. They don't pay attention when the oppressed is crying. But they only pay attention when the oppressed rise up to defend themselves from oppressors. So that is exactly the reason why we are doing all our best to actually to show them, to show them and hold them according to their words. I just hope I will find this video I just hope I will find it because I wanted to actually address that pig in the creek but of course I don't think time will permit me. 
I will address him tomorrow. Time will not permit me very well. I will address him tomorrow because I need to play this video where your president said. that if there is any any place where he does not interfere with it is the judiciary that was his words so just one moment let me get that video because i know there is a lot of videos here Let's see this one. Oh, it's not this one. Let's continue to check. I know that the video is here. All right, let me do this. Let me bring it direct from its source. Let's explore it from the source. Got it. Got it. Now. Hello and welcome to this very special program. An exclusive interview with President Muhammad Buhari. I'm sure Kim Baloye. And I'm Maupe Okun Yusuf. President Muhammad Buhari's taciturn reputation is no secret. And so the interview was a rare one. The president's preference for communication with his people, we have been told, was not through interviews. The weather they are mentioning, the climate change and so on. In Nigeria, we are very susceptible. Accidents, we can use this now part on which we understand and, and we try, try to, to secure and, and make it safe for the leadership. Uh, successfully implemented the budget was because in, in both or within Africa, we have to make sure that. It I can imagine what was happening, happening even between, between Lincoln and Biden, Biden. Six, six months, months ago. Because we did a machinery. Machinery trap. The Chinese loans. Not even us. No. Of oh. something that I'm sure you know. What you did you do today? Between Lincoln and Biden. 
we have to allow people to get access to the farm. Yes, that was one moment. So we have to use the infrastructure. And even after, we wouldn't dare interfere with that judiciary. I want you to hear here. This is what I'm looking for. There is one institution. Tell me what they do that. I want you to pay attention here. This is the time we have been here. Uh, maybe in 2014, as well, I told you, 2014 to uh, was back to 1999, how much we are earning. And this is a problem now. Uh, this is where we are going to remind the Nigeria government of their words. Pay very good attention and share the video because we are going to cut this path after this video to remind them exactly of their words. I know that. But uh, this video might be having what they call, uh, you know, this thing, but uh, it doesn't matter. But let's uh, hear. Uh, the petroleum industry is becoming more, more complicated and unreliable than put it that way. No, no doubt, doubt, the issue of Namde Kano and the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, could be a touchy one. And the elders, elders will be looking forward to an update on your meeting with the president. Yes, yes he obliges and, and gives a status, status report. Recently, you told the delegation of the Southeast elders who visited you here in the villa that, that you would consider their request for the meetings of Namde Kano and the that the prescribed. And then you know, people have an eye pop. Do we have any opinion on that? Okay. There is one institution that I would dare to tell you that is judiciary. Okay. Come this case, this is the judiciary. But what I wonder is when Kanu was simply in Europe abusing. This, this administration and mentioning too many things. I never thought really he would to voluntarily come and defend himself on the accusation years. So I have given him an opportunity to defend himself in our system, not to be abusing uh, us from Europe. Now I want you to hear the you know the conflict of interest. He is giving him a chance. If there is any institution that he does not interfere with, it is the judiciary. That uh, now he is now telling you. He also made it clear to those who can reason. It is not just about judiciary because this is a personal issue that is the reason why he said when he was there in europe and you know saying many things exposing many things about this administration <laughs> did you hear that about this administration so that means claiming that he does not interfere with the judiciary was exactly what he did in the opposite in high court nigeria federal high court abuja because this is you can hear the tone the conflict of interest that these people they are not there to try mazen nam the khan their plan was to kill him and they were all frustrated because they couldn't get it done. That is the reason why frustratedly, you know, in the way he is frustrated, he is telling you that when the time, if he wanted to go through judiciary alone, you will understand that he will just say he does not interfere with the judiciary. But he's now telling you when he was trying, saying many things about this administration, it exposes a lot of 
things that this administration is a dictatorship regime. You cannot talk to them. You cannot say anything against them. You cannot even demand for service delivery from them. You cannot even demand for security of your people for them. That is the reason why Governor Autumn is still crying for them to give him license to actually hold arm to defend themselves from the terrorists that this government is creating. Are you paying attention? Dictatorship. When he was, he was, he was speaking so many things about against this administration. He's supposing so many things against this administration. That is where you will understand that, <laughs> you know, he is just fooling the international community. He is just using it to fool the international community. They were able to, you know, const you know, control the High Court Abuja. But the one in uh, appeal court of appeal, it took them by surprise because the the people who are competent in their duty. Who knows that the whole world is watching them to actually test their competency, knowing that the whole world knows the truth. So if they actually do something contrary to the truth, that has a, a you know element of proving that Nigeria does not have a competent judges, they do not have judiciary they practice dictatorship. So those who knows the you know, implications of, you know, trying to, you know, manipulate the justice, trying to manipulate the law, having seen that the act of terrorism is committed against this man, he is telling you, he want this man to go and be tried in their system. This man got tried in Buhari's or Bujubiril system. And this same man defeated you and your system. Now, you still do uh, making sentiments because what John Atomi, General Atomi, is saying is a sentiment. We can only find out if by Monday they did not release Mazu number ten, because he made a sentiment which is condemnable by any reasonable, educated, intellectual, you know, people in Nigeria. They're supposed to admonish that because. This man said, let him be tried in our system. He, he told you, you will come, you will try, you, you will be tried in your system. He will defeat you in your system because he knows the law. Him himself, he knows the law. Mazen Namdekan, he knows the law. Just like I know that I have the right to criticize my parents if they are not doing well. I have the right to criticize my president if they are not doing well. I have the right to criticize the government, government of the day because they call it democracy. Power belongs to the people. Power is given by the people and power is of the people. So if you say you are in a democratic nation, how then will you call what Mazen Namdekan was exposing about the activities of Nigeria? He was in Europe saying all sorts of things about this administration. So you are as on Yagwanam, your administration cannot actually be, you know, it cannot be challenged. Your activities cannot be challenged. 
The way the rain, the flood, is now swallowing people in Bayelsa State, in Anambra State. So it means that if such things happen, it means that there is no service delivery. There are no adequate, you know, infrastructure that will control these channels where this flood will be going through so that it does not come and swallow people and their homes. It does not come and take people away from their homes. And there is none of you who will even try to engage these families who are the victim of this flood because you don't care. And the same administration you do not want us to talk about. Is that not dictatorship regime? Because I have not seen what Mazen Namdekanu said that is outside democracy, outside the democratic right of every individual. He said that you are not Buhari, you are Jubiril. Why did you not challenge that in your court? Because you know that challenging this in your court is going to take you to do DNA. That is number one. It is within his right to take mate who is the president. Is he still the same man we put there that is there? It is not a crime. It is not a crime. Where it is going to be a crime is when you do DNA in public and tell us that you are Buhari. Then that is where it is a crime. He will be fined. You will be fined. That's how it is. For the formation of character. That's how it is. It is just a deformation of character. Dan, why did you run away from that one? Since he was saying all sorts of things. When he tell you that you are police, you are sass, is killing our people extrajudiciously is it a lie no it is not that is exactly what is happening in nigeria it is within his democratic right saying all those things you are a president elected by the people i have the right to challenge your office that is exactly so if you are indeed a democratic nation you don't have right you know you don't have right to come out there to say that a person whom, if indeed Nigeria is one, you don't have right to say that somebody is challenging your administration. Your administration is bound to be challenged by the people who created that administration, who made sure that you are there. That's how things work. But because you people are less informed or maybe uninformed, uninformed you don't know but you go to europe you enjoy their democracy you find you go around you enjoy their fresh air their security that to the extent that during the, the time of you know your mistress african leaders were driven in a bus so if in because they believe they have security you don't have the reason why you people move with the own millions of convoy, it is not because you people are most important in Africa or in the world. It is because you did not create adequate security. That's why you will be wasting the resources, moving in millions with a convoy, making noise all over the place with blue lights. You find when a president is moving, you find more than 40 convoys is going with the president. Whose, whose money is that you are wasting on petrol? Taxpayers' money. It is not your money. So you need to be held accountable. So why then are you saying that Nam the Colonel was in Europe, saying all sorts of things like about your administration? Which means you have taken this issue personally. It is no longer judicial case. You just place it in judiciary for waste of time because you know within yourself it is a you are a dictator. Let us go, let us listen to him. Let us pay attention so that now you will understand what I just said here. 
millions of people of the heart of Iowa. Do I have any update on that? There is one institution that I wouldn't dare interfere with, that is judiciary. Coming case, it is judiciary. Mm -hmm. What I wonder yeah. is when Kanu was simply in Europe, mm -hmm. abusing this administration and making too many things. things. I never thought really he ought to voluntarily come and defend himself on the accusation, yes. So we are giving him an opportunity to defend himself in our system. Okay. Not to be abusing uh, us from Europe. You know, as if he, uh, as if he was not an Nigerian. Let him come here in a with us. And, and then criticize us, yeah. Uh, and, and then Nigerians know that I don't interfere with the judiciary. Mm -hmm. let, let, let him be listened to. But those who are saying that he should do it, you know, we cannot find anything. No possibility of a political solution. No. There is a possibility of a political solution. If he reveals themselves, all well and good. But you, but you can't, can't go, go to, uh, to a foreign country, country and keep, keep on uh, sending uh, incorrect uh, economy and security problem against your country. Now, if he finish everything he says, you know, remember that the answer he is answering here is to confuse the international community to confuse every international body that are involved. But now, his real answer continued to come. You were there. You were criticizing, sending wrong message, doing this and that. Then my own take on that is, you are not criticized more than the way Obama of America, who endorsed you, was criticized. How many people did Obama kill for that sake in America? How many people did Obama come go and rendition? Now, Joe Biden is there. He is being criticized by his people. How many of them did he kill? How many of them did he rendition? When this man of UK, what is his name? Boris Johnson was there. People were criticizing him. People were doing everything. But he did not kidnap or rendition any of them because he knows that no matter what they say, he is the president, he is the leader that was elected by them. So they have the right to criticize their bad markets. You cannot say you give me a bad market and you are expecting me not to criticize the bad market you give me. The people whom you go there, they carry you in a bus. You don't complain about security because they understand the power belongs to the people. And when you create, when you create jobs for the people, you don't need to be scared about security. If you did things that favors your people, it means that your people will be safe. They will be having a sense of belonging. There is no way they are going to criticize you. But for the fact that you did not do all that, you are bound to be criticized. You are not God. Even people criticize God. Did he send thunder to kill them? You sin against God every day. Did, you, did he send thunder to kill you? No, the answer is no. Yet, you say he was there. This administration. Because after sending your fake messages to international bodies, he will still come back to the real answer. He was there criticizing this in administration. It is laughable. Let's continue. Uh, and 
thinking that you will never have to account for for what you have been doing. Okay. Let him account for what he has been doing. Mm -hmm. Mr. President, as we wind down now, I, I don't know, I, I think, think that sometimes you must sit and reflect about when you, you know, you, know, you tried many times to be leader of this country and you have succeeded in the fourth attempt. And, and I'm, I'm sure, sure that, that you had your goals for this country, country when you had, when, when you ran, ran for office. Many, many times, times you offered yourself. Um, when you think and, and look at where Nigeria is and the way forward, do you fear for this country? Do you fear for our oneness and our unity? Now, if what Olam De Kanu is saying is not a fact, why is the journalist asking you? You tried so many times to get into this power and the fourth time you entered. Now you see the situation of the country. What situation is he talking about? The same situation Mazen Namdekan was lamenting. The same lamentation. You called it is a false information. Your journalist is asking you that same thing do you fear for this country do you fear for the oneness of this country let us go there and hear what he has to say the, the, the dictator no, no I, don't. Don't. I don't i don't because, because to be frank with you from just january 1966 i've been in all the talks in this country in the country for more than three years. Mm -hmm. I, I think, think um, Nigerians, they, they make noise, I think, to get a better deal. When they know that we are better together than separate. separate. Did you hear the answer? Do you fear for this country? Having seen the situation of the country, he said, I think Nigeria, they make noise. They make noise. The people who put you in power make noise. When they were campaigning for you, it was not a noise. When they were campaigning for you, it was not a noise. When they now, because you actually submitted your curriculum vitae before you will be actually deem fit to run for that presidential office why do you submit it you submit it because you know that it is an employment given by the people through a ballot box today those people who gave you that is now making noise for a better deal they are making noise at least if you say that they are clamoring, it is better than saying they are making noise for a better deal. And now, the better deal is that you are better off together than separated. Have you been separated before? How do you know we are better off together by, you know, than separated? Have you been separated before? very very important question because it means if you don't have experience of anything you cannot use that thing as a comparison or com use it as a analogy or use it to do comparison you can't we are better off together because we are together right you have never tried the separation to see if it works exaggeration exaggeration they will continue to make a decision that they don't have knowledge about that's what they continue to do which is exactly the reason why they will never make a decision that is going to benefit any other person except their political class you are making noise for a better deal. You are better off together than separated. 
This is exactly what we have been lamenting about, crying about. Yet, nothing is being done about it. I am going to leave it there because, of course, you have heard it yourself. He said, let him be tried in our system here. He's be, he has been tried in your system. You supposed to actually compensate him for all the inhuman treatment you have meted, the infl what you have inflicted in on him. So, we are waiting for tomorrow. We are waiting for tomorrow. Monday, our leader is supposed to be out with us. Monday, tomorrow. Because every document and uh, whatever can be signed tomorrow, submitted tomorrow, if it is submitted late, Tuesday morning or afternoon, our leader should be with us. Because he has been tried in your system. Your system found you guilty. How about that? Aren't you going to accept the fate? Or you will continue to clamor that um, he's been talking about this administration? Are you here to defend administration or you are here to protect the people who gave you that power? Okay. Yet to find out. Could be a friend all over the world, lovers of freedom. I will not be able to make it with this man's broadcast, but we are going to do it tomorrow. So catch me live tomorrow evening or tomorrow afternoon where I will be actually addressing this ignorant. I will be addressing his ignorant. He is quoting, he was quoting laws for us. But I need a, I need a different energy to address him. And I will address him thoroughly. So that when he quote law, we will tell him that he claimed that his father was a senior advocate or senior judge. We will tell him that he is a sophisticated moron who does not know his left from his right. He is somebody who does not actually know where he belong. Wherever that favors him is where he run to. But evils that you are fighting is going to be your end. If you, our politicians are not the ones selling us out, there is a place where this guy said that he, if Pito B win an election, he will pursue him. <laughs> You will pursue Peter B. For you to understand, they, this Fulanis, they don't, they take you people as nothing. Fasali Dokbo telling you that if, if you become a president, he will pursue you. He will pursue you. But let's leave it here until tomorrow. It's another day. Great beer friends. Until we meet again, make sure you stay safe, stay informed. Don't let the infiltrators to, you know, actually be the one to redirect your narratives. Because in everything we do, we must remain focused. They know that when we remain focused, that no force will be able to stop us. No force will be able to stop us. That is the reason why they have sent so many people to come and try to see if they will destroy, to see if they will bring our spirit down, to see if they will discourage our Lego teams, to see if they will do everything, anything 
in order to actually bring our resoluteness or our guts down, it didn't work. But now we are here. And don't forget, do not let go. Biafra is a step away. And that Biafra is a step away does not mean that we are going to maneuver. We take one step at a time. One step at a time. Because if the enemy is coming to tell you that he will give you Biafra tomorrow, it is for you to start, you know, losing faith on people's promises when Biafra does not come tomorrow. That is exactly what they're doing, reverse psychology. If I tell you that, you know, if you believe in me now, or maybe Mazen Namde can tell you to pay attention to me, I tell you I will give you Biafra tomorrow. It means that if tomorrow I don't give you Biafra, many of you will start, you know, growing fatigue. No, these people are now lying about this issue. They talk even what they don't know. You start growing fatigue. From there, you lose focus. You say, let me go and focus on my business and my family. That's exactly what is going on. You know, that's exactly what the enemies are doing. And that's why Mazen Namde can tell you that Biafra is the last miracle. Koge Sime Mada Nagi. That's how it is. But don't let go. Because Biafra is a step away. Let's go there. Just hold on 
Hold on 